I wonder if you speak to the legitimacy of the United Nations, the ideal, the good ideal that once uh, once, once we had, when we have issues like Durban, we have Ahmadinejad speaking in a few minutes. Um, maybe you could speak to the legitimacy of the UN ideal. Well, I think, un unfortunately, over the years, people have lost the focus on the ideal, and it has become a forum for uh, political agendas that are very distant from the aspirations of the framers who wrote the UN Charter. Um, it's not so much the specialized agencies, that many of which do good humanitarian work, it's the political decision-making bodies of the UN, the General Assembly, the Security Council, the Human Rights Council, uh, that have been negatively affected. And um, I think that uh, there are substantial changes we could make in the UN that could redirect it back toward the ideals of the founders. Uh, I proposed, for example, abolishing assessed or mandatory contributions and making all funding voluntary would have a remarkably concentrating effect on the uh, intentions of the various UN members. Uh, and I think that would be a good thing because then you would have a stress on performance and outcomes uh, and not the opportunity for political theater, which unfortunately characterizes uh, too much of what the UN does. Thanks. Uh, Stuart Ang with the New York Jewish Week. The letter will go in tomorrow from the Palestinians. That'll be a unilateral act. Some are saying Israel should respond unilaterally. What would you suggest? Well, I think uh, first it's important to see what the Palestinian letter says <coughs> um, and what exactly the procedural route is they're taking because there are a lot of possibilities and the precise reaction depends on the circumstances. Um, uh, I think it's important for the United States to take a leadership role here uh, to make it clear that this either UN membership or statehood uh, application uh, is neither appropriate nor legitimate at the present time, uh, and to make it clear that action by the General Assembly uh, has no real-world impact. I think that's important, especially for Israel. There have been a lot of uh, expressions of concern about somehow the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court will attach if the Palestinians go there and a variety of other things. Uh, I think the United States should reject all that um, emphatically. The General Assembly has no power to create states or to declare statehood. Uh, it could declare Disneyland a state tomorrow, and it would have the same impact as declaring Palestine a state. Uh, and I think you need to treat this in that fashion. If you give it dignity, it will acquire dignity. Uh, and so, uh, having said, we need to see exactly what they say. That's the general way I would approach it.